Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Steve Fundero. So we finally got our first 90 degree temperature of the year. You know, if we didn't do that, tomorrow is actually the record latest date to see that first 90 degree day. So we almost kind of tied that. We are forecasting low 90s for the day tomorrow, so definitely going to get there. Uh, but the month of June, Kind of on an interesting note, so to speak. A lot of 70s, a couple of 60s thrown in there. No day where temperatures hit 90, similar in May. And May is the average when we typically get our first 90 degree day. So finally, summer is upon us as we enter the month of July. Light raindrops out there now are fading with the cloud coverage. Kind of dodged a bullet as there were some pretty gnarly thunderstorms off towards the west Farmville, Richmond area this evening. And they kind of died right when they hit the I-95 corridor. And there are a couple more rounds of these thunderstorm clusters just getting thrown this way. Just for you get one over here, you get one over there, you get one over there. And if we have enough heat and humidity to allow those thunderstorms to stay alive, we got to keep them in the forecast. So we'll likely get another round of them maybe by tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. So since the rain doesn't cool us off during the day, we are going to feel quite toasty tomorrow. Temperatures are going to read in the 90s and heat indices are going to be in the low 100s. Heat and uh, advisory is up for those in Northeast North Carolina where those values, heat indices values are going to be close to 105. Our actual high temps are going to be in the low to mid 90s. Daylight hours should be dry outside of a spotty shower here. They're bubbling up as uh, we look towards the evening. That's when a couple thunderstorms could start to move in low 90s for the peninsula. So it's a great beach day to cool off at the Atlantic. However, rip currents remain elevated. So use some caution, swim near the lifeguards, check in, see where they're at um, in terms of conditions in the ocean uh, as well. And watch the low tide. Rip currents tend to be elevated the most during low tide when the water is draining. And, you know, the low tide is fun to swim because you could walk out there and likely when it's knee deep, things like that. Just use some extra caution you're out and about. Actual temps in the low 90s. We talked about the thunderstorm threat moves in by the sunset time frame or thereafter. So if there are any firework shows going off tomorrow night, uh, the views may be blocked in a few parts of town. As Future Trek has not much going on for the daylight hours out towards the west when the sun starts to set. There could be a cluster of thunderstorms that move in, but it's towards the evening. So most of the daylight hours look OK. Could be dealing with some showers into the night, kind of similar to what we dealt with today. And then as we move into Monday, it'll be dry for most of the daylight hours. Late night hours roll around. We have a couple scattered showers and thunderstorms. And since the timing of the thunderstorms, both tomorrow and Monday are towards sunset, uh, each afternoon is going to be hot and the Monday the actual temperatures could be in the mid, maybe even upper 90s. So Monday is going to be real, real hot for us. We'll cool down slightly into 4th of July. It's going to be one of the drier days we'll have this week. Really nice for us, near 90 degrees. But Monday may feel, again, like the low 100s. Next two days going to feel real hot. And we'll keep those afternoon pop-up thunderstorms and showers in the forecast for the rest of the week as temperatures hold near 90.